Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, February 17th, and it is a fine winter day here in southeastern Pennsylvania. Beautiful sunny skies, about 30 degrees, just perfect. We had another one of these weird weeks where it went from being very cold to very warm, and yeah, this, this is a great day. I'm happy. I'm just going to leave it at that. So I hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, and uh, looking forward to the week ahead. Uh, got several things I want to talk about today, but but first I want to do my uh, my weekly shoutouts. So I've got two new guys, and these are these are really pretty freshly minted YouTube channels that that I'd like you to go and check out. And again, I'm I'm focusing on guys that only have a handful of of subs. And I mean, let's face it, you know, some some of these guys are going to become you know thriving members members of this thriving community, and they're going to thrive. Other guys are going to say, "Ah, oh, it's not for me." And, and but the the point is we need to encourage them. Uh, whether they make it or not doesn't really matter. We can't tell that right now. We just want to encourage them. And and so I'm I'm really basing these shout outs more on the number of subs than anything else. Uh, but I do watch uh, at least one or two of their videos. In some cases, there's only one or two to watch. And, uh, you know, I, I think they're worth looking at. So uh, I, I give you my honest opinion. But at the same time, I think it's important that we just grow the community and we'll let the the cream rise to the top, if you will. Uh, not that anybody's not good enough to rise to the top, but it, it you may find that it's just not your thing. You just don't want to spend time making videos and, and all that. So, you know, it, it could happen. Anyway, boy, I'm off on a tangent there. Let's get to our shout-outs. i got two two really, really neat guys today. The first is a guy who goes by Doomsday Piper. Uh, he's brand new. I saw him, uh, I don't know, Monday or Tuesday of this week for the first time, and he only had one video. He's now up to, I think, three. Uh, he's a couple of really nice videos where he, he shared a new Boswell freehand that he's gotten, uh, talked about some tobaccos he likes, and if I remember right, he told the story of his first pipe in his uh, second or third video. Uh, nice guy, fun to listen to. Uh, I, I really hope to see more from him. So go check out Doomsday Piper. Link will be down below. Number two is a YouTuber who's been around a little bit longer. Uh, he's new this year. Uh, he's got, I don't know, 12 or so videos. I didn't count them. Uh, and that is Paint and Pipes. Now, Paint and Pipes is uh, is a painter, uh, meaning he paints art, not houses. Well, he actually might paint houses. I don't know. He, he paints. He's shown some of the art that he's painting. Uh, he's a recently newly minted pipe smoker, so he's, you know, still looking for advice and and, uh, and support in, in engaging in the hobby. And in a recent video, uh, he asked for input on drink pairings, uh, smoking attire, and the F word. So go check out Paint and Pipes. I'll uh, put him down below as well and uh, check out Doomsday Piper. I think you're going to enjoy both of those guys. Uh, give them a sub, say hello, and uh, welcome them into the community. All right, so this has been a busy week. Um, I hope, I don't know if any of you guys got a chance to watch my Friday video, which I decided to do a Friday commute video uh, from my car. It was fun. I I approached it with a bit of trepidation because you never know how these things are going to go. I mean, I, I didn't even know I could do it. I actually, that day, just before I started recording that video, I stopped into, there's a dollar store a few stores down from the cigar store that I was going to, looking for a clip to hold the phone. And I had no idea what I was even looking for, but I found this thing that clips on the vent. It was one dollar. Uh, slapped the phone into that, put it into the flip around uh, selfie mode, and hit record and it worked great so <laughs> I was happy with that um, the audio wasn't fantastic because you know the traffic and, and all that but yeah, I think you could hear me and it was fun I, I, I enjoyed just having a chat with you all and, and the feedback I've gotten was really good the reason I was doing that is I'm gonna try to do a road trip next weekend so next Sunday instead of this video and I'll probably still sit here and do a little intro to it but instead of my normal chat, I'm actually going to go to the Lyne Nelson uh, Toolworks uh, Woodworking Show, which is in Philadelphia, near the waterfront. Um, if you're familiar with the Philly area, it's, it's in that complex where the, uh, the Olympia and the Bakuna are. This is a, a, a ship and a, a submarine. Uh, I haven't been there since I was a child, so I'm really looking forward to seeing the Olympia and the Bakuna, if nothing else. 
and uh, the show looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of Lee Nelson is a really fantastic manufacturer of, of hand tools, probably the best around today. I uh, hope I'm not offending anyone with that, but I, I really hold them in high esteem. I own several of their tools, and I'm going without any real need in mind, but I'm sure I'm going to buy something. And they're going to have demos and and you know new tools, and you, know, you can talk to them about you know what's the best choice for me in a plane if I want to do this thing. So I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to video inside the show, but I'll do what I can. But I'm certainly going to take you along for the ride a bit, and we'll, we'll just share the experience. So it should be fun. So look for that next week. And this Wednesday. Uh, this Wednesday is International Pipe Smoking Day. I did not know that when I scheduled <laughs> this event. This Wednesday I have a new premiere coming up. And that is going to be a video about um, uh, tobacco blending and pressing and it's a long video it's about 40 minutes long um, but I, I there's a lot of information in there I basically take a blend talk about what I don't like about it what I do like about it, what I don't like about it how I think I could change that then I go through the process of trying to change it and pressing and we I taste the tobacco and share my impressions with you both before I do anything just after it's blended after it's right out of the press and then uh, after it's had some time to dry. Uh, it's, I, I think you're going to enjoy it. I really had a lot of fun making it, and I got some good tobacco in the end. So uh, if you got the time, it's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday evening. Uh, and, of course, the video will be there after that. But if you got a chance to, to come at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday, we'll be able to um, live chat during the video. And I'm going to stick around afterwards for as long as YouTube allows, and we can do Q&A or just shoot the breeze and, and see how it goes. So I'm looking forward to that. I hope to see uh, a lot of you guys there. All right. The most important order of business today. I got me a new pipe that I'm going to share with you. <laughs> and I am, I'm really excited about this pipe. Uh, I haven't smoked it yet. I'm going to actually load it up and smoke it for the first time today. And it is, I'll do the, the uh, sexy reveal thing here. That beautiful stem. It's an olive wood pipe. And it is from Olive Wood Piper, my, my friend Carl. I've been wanting one of Carl's pipes for quite a while now, and I've just been waiting for one to kind of speak to me. And this one spoke loud and clear. And I, I contacted him, and I said, you know, I really, really like this shape. It's, it's, a, it's an altar shape. It's uh, kind of a little bit chunky, fits in the hand really nicely. I, I just and then the grain is really great on it too. You know, olive wood's a very distinctive wood, and I, I just think that's beautiful. Uh, so I contacted Art and I said, you know, is that one still available? And I'm sorry, I contacted Carl and said, is that one still available? And uh, it turns out that uh, our friend Art Pipes and Spirits was actually interested in the pipe, but. Unfortunately for Art, very fortunately for me, he only smokes uh, filtered pipes, and this pipe does not accept the filter. So I was more than happy to, uh, to, to, to pick it up when Art decided he was going to wait for Carl to make him a custom version of this with a, with a filter capability. Uh, so it's, it's the first and possibly only time that filters actually did something in my favor, and I'm quite happy for that. Anyway, Art, I know just holding this in my hand, you're going to really love the, whatever Carl comes up with. And uh, Carl, this is beautiful. Uh, you know, I've, I've looked over it. The engineering is, is perfect. It's, it's really a well-made pipe. Beautifully designed. Be beautiful aesthetics. Uh, yeah, there, there's nothing to complain about this. Now, I have not smoked an olive wood pipe before, so this is going to be a first for me. But we shall do so. And what I'm going to use to, to sort of christen the pipe is I've got, um, I'm using a tobacco pouch today, I've got a pouch of Carter Hall. Uh, this, is, this is a nice little pouch actually. This is a Peterson pouch that I picked up about a year ago. And it, I don't think they make it anymore, which is a shame because I, I really like it. I'll show you after I get the pipe packed in a bit more detail. Um, I, re I really like it and I, I have it with me every day. It's um, so, you know, it's got that, that rubbery lining. Uh, very ample. I mean, you can open it all the way up, so it holds quite a bit of tobacco. I usually just put a couple pinches in to get me through the day. And then this part folds in. That little flap folds over. And then this folds up, and there's a magnetic snap that brings everything together. 
So really very well sealed. Keeps the tobacco fresh. Um, usually I, I have this full of Carter Hall in my back pocket uh, and I'm happy all day long. But I don't normally put more than what I'm going to smoke in one or two days because even the best pouch is not going to keep your tobacco dry. Carter Hall is not a problem, but if I'm smoking anything else in here, I, I usually just you know, try to limit it to one or two bowls. Okay, so let's get this beautiful pipe lit up. And the reason I'm smoking Carter Hall is that it's my personal tobacco of choice to break in a pipe. And we'll talk a bit more about that once I... Hey, I know I filled you. There we go. Once I get the pipe lit up. Well, if you can say anything about a pipe based on its initial light, that was good. The, the draw is fantastic. There's no restriction at all. And I'm not getting any any flavor but Carter Hall. Mm. And that just so unique looking. I, I really, really am happy about this. And it's uh like I said, the the engineering of the pipe, the, the airways and everything are, are perfect and It just smokes beautifully. I, it, it came in the mail and it was kind of funny. I, I was very excited to open it up and all that. And I, I'm looking at it. And I'm like, you know, holding it up to the light to see the airway and all that. And it's just, I'm a, I'm a pipe geek. That's what I do. And my wife looks at me and she's, he, he, you know, the poor guy that sent you that. He had no idea you were going to be going over it with a magnifying glass. And I didn't actually have a magnifying glass, but it's just, I'm, I'm interested in that. I do that with every pipe that I, that I get. And, uh, and, you know, it's, it's so hard to find one, other than artisan pipes, but, you know, anytime you got a factory pipe, something won't be right. And it, it's usually not a big deal, you know, but little things like, you know, I talked last week about the airway being offset. You know, maybe not a big deal, but the airway, if the airway is offset in the stem and not the, not the shank, you're going to get gurgle, and that's important. You know, sometimes it's just not drilled out right. The, too too narrow an airway, too too wide of an airway sometimes, um, and then the airway hitting the bottom of the bowl is always a challenge for factories. It seems. I don't know why. It seems like they'd be better at it than a guy that's doing them one at a time. But at any rate, uh, I always seem to find something about a factory pipe. But artisan pipes, you know, obviously these guys are spending a lot more time looking at each pipe and, and really thinking carefully about everything they do to it. And that kind of approach shines through in this. So this so far is smoking really nicely. I'm obviously going to have to spend some time with it before I can uh, recommend it uh, beyond saying it's beautiful and uh, very unique. But if you're in the market for an olive wood pipe, I highly recommend you go check out Carl's uh, channel. I'll put him in a link below, Olive Wood Piper. You can put him in the search bar. I'm sure he'll pop up. He's on Instagram as Olive Wood Piper as well. And uh, great guy, easy to deal with. Fantastic value, by the way. And Carl, we should talk about that. I, I think you're undercharging folks. I can say that now that I own one of your pipes. <laughs> uh, no, really, fa fantastic value and... Uh, you know, so far, fantastic pipe. So, in terms of what's going on here, I've uh, I finished up those pipes I was talking about last week. Uh, that one Peterson stem that was giving me grief. Uh, those all have gone back to the customer, and I'll I'll put it. I don't think I showed you the final pipe last week, so I'll put a picture in here of the uh, the final uh, 
on that Peterson pipe, what it, what it looked like before I sent it back. And I was really pretty happy about the, the overall results of that. It was a lot of work, but it was, it was fun. It was, it was neat to sort of solve that puzzle. So what I'm working on today is um, this little Peterson Kildare, beautiful little pipe. Uh, and that's the state of its stem right now. Got a lot of work to do there, obviously. Although you could smoke it right now. But no. um, so I'm making a new stem for this. It has a P-lip that uh, the tenon broke off. So I've also gone and this has a protective tape around it because I need to rechuck it in the lathe because I need to touch up the the uh, the shoulder of this still. But uh, this is the, the original P-lip stem. And I put a new Delrin tenon on that and I think it's, it's lining up pretty good. So the owner will have both the original P-lip and he will have the uh, the new uh, he wanted a non p lip stem, so I'm going to make him a very small uh, flared fishtail uh, that'll go nicely with this um, with this pipe. So that's I'm hoping to get that done today. Uh, lots of filing and sanding in my future, but it should be a good time. But in the near future. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this uh, this garter hall. So guys, I hope, like I said earlier, I hope you had a, a, a great weekend uh, and you're looking forward to the week ahead. Monday's a holiday, uh, at, at least for many of us here in the U.S. It's President's Day. Uh, I have the day off, so I'll probably be down here working away on, on pipes. Um, John, your stem's up next. I, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta let people know because I've got so many backed up right now. But we're we're starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. So I'll probably be doing that uh, tomorrow and uh, you know relaxing a bit uh, and uh, thinking a bit about uh, Lincoln and Washington, who were two great men. So, with that, take care of yourselves. And until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.